Hello, Neopal Times here, welcome to a new video. And a few days ago, there were these rumors and confirmations by Apple executives that they were redesigning their uh, whole map system uh, into something better. Right now, uh, they take all their data from TomTom, Tom, the company, and they were going to start taking them themselves. So, just a few days later, exactly yesterday, Apple released iOS 12 Beta 3, uh, which by the way, today was released uh, the public Beta 2. And uh, I have it here installed and it includes the new maps. So we're going to check them out and see what's new, what's changed in these new maps. Okay, so I have here my iPhone 5S with the Beta installed. And I also have here my uh, iPhone 8 Plus with iOS 11 and the older version. So we're going to jump straight into the Maps app and this new map system is currently only available in San Francisco so we will have to go there to see the differences. So here are both. Uh, as you can see uh, from this view this one looks a little more detailed but if we jump straight in as you can see especially in the parks. So we're going to jump into this park right here. It's the Golden Gate Park. And you can see, I'm going to put this in Do Not Disturb. And you can see that, let's focus here. We have all these uh, paths and it's marked like the whole everything. We have this rectangle here that will represent something. The golf course, the mill, the beach is even in some tan color. And over here we got the small lakes, I don't know if you can notice, but there's also these little paths inside, over here. And there's a lot of detail. If we go to this one, go put it in low power mode, you can see there's not that much detail. So for example, we didn't have this square here, Whoops. let's flip it. And focus again okay so here you can see this the beach is green for some reason uh, you don't have all this detail here the lakes uh, for some reason we do have this one but not this so that's pretty weird and yeah you can see here the polo field and here is way more detailed and all these uh, lakes right here yeah they're more or less the same but still have more detail here so jumping to some other place we have all this notice this little I'm not sure if it's this one yet this little playground here which has all these all this detail in the new version and in this one so yes, this is actually coming to every, and if we zoom in, didn't notice that, we get all the the shapes of the buildings, which we don't in in previous version. So this is coming to many of the of the cities. It will be expanding to the whole world, uh, probably slowly because it you can imagine that this takes a whole lot of work. However, we have been seeing uh, Apple Maps. Uh, vans uh, throughout the whole world including Spain where I live uh, for four years now so it might be quicker than we think uh, at least for bigger cities such as the capitals and big cities especially in the US and also they want to start as I said earlier they want to start getting the their own um, their own data instead of getting it from TomTom so it will be a serious uh, competence to Google Maps. So yeah, this is pretty much everything. Also, they uh, have confirmed that they are going to redesign the app. However, they wanted to make it uh, little by little, so not to make everything at once. And they started by introducing this here with the new beta. And probably we will see a redesign of the app in iOS 13 or even 14. 
So this is pretty much everything I wanted to show you right now. We're still here in the Bay of San Francisco. I wish I was there actually. But yeah, now let's go on in the video. Okay, so this has been a quick look at the new maps, uh, Apple Maps in iOS 12 Beta 3. Uh, of course this is beta and it's all subject to change. It's very possible that we see an even better version uh, with the public release of iOS 12. And yeah, also ADQ said in an interview that they plan on uh, surpassing Google Maps. So they really have to work a lot to surpass them, but seeing how much they have worked on Apple Maps since they were first released uh, six years ago, I see no reason why they wouldn't make it. Also, why is Apple putting so much effort into their own maps, you might think? Well, it's probably because of two things. First is the new uh, autonomous driving car system that they are testing, so they will need a good maps system to get you <laughs> wherever you want. So that might be one of the reasons, and the other one will probably be their own AR. We saw in a concept that I showed you by Gabriel Badog, that you can see here, that we could even be guided uh, with AR inside the buildings. That's now a fact. Uh, there are maps inside the buildings, so I see no reason why Apple would probably release some uh, AR glasses and have all the maps and say like, hey Siri, on the glasses, take me uh, to, to work, for example, and they will guide you with AR inside your classes. So that's also a reason why they need some really good maps. This has been everything. If you have a question, as always, leave them down below in the comments and I will do my best to answer. Also, don't forget to thumbs up, comment and subscribe for more content, as I have weekly videos planned twice a week. So yeah, if you like what you saw, subscribe for more. Thanks you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.